The countdown is on for Iran, threatening to bail out of the 2015 nuclear deal in just 10 days while continuing to increase its enrichment of uranium, raising the specter of an already tense situation in the Middle East erupting into something more dangerous or even violent. RT correspondent John Huddy is live with more on this story and the latest developments. John, what are Iranian officials exactly saying? Yeah, well, Sarah, today the spokesman for Iran's Atomic Energy Agency said that Iran would increase its enriched uranium stockpile to exceed the limits that were set by that 2015 nuclear deal, what's called the JCPOA, upping the ante really in the showdown now between the U.S. and Iran, along with, of course, U.S. allies against Iran. Um, under the terms of the JCPOA, Iran agreed to reduce its nuclear capabilities, limiting uh, among other things, the number of uranium enriching centrifuges and also restricting its efforts to enrich uranium to no more than 3.67 percent. Well, now Iran says it's going to kick up that amount to 20 percent of enriched uranium, up to 20 percent, which many fear is really just a step away from nuclear weapons grade 90 percent enriched uranium. So this latest development with Iran is certainly adding to the ongoing tension and drama uh, from last week when, of course, those two tankers were attacked in the Gulf of Oman near the very important uh, Strait of Hormuz. U.S. officials, including President Trump and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, have blamed Iran for the attack, saying that video released by U.S. Central Command uh, last week shows an Iranian vessel removing what they say was an unexploded mine from one of those tankers. Well, yesterday, Secretary Pompeo repeated those uh, accusations against Iran while also, he said, not ruling out possible military action against the country. Uh, we are confident that we can take a set of actions that can restore deterrence, which is our mission set. You say a full range of options. Does that include a military response? Of course. Of course, the president will consider uh, everything we need to do to make sure, right? But what's the president said, we don't want Iran to get a nuclear weapon. The previous administration put them on a pathway that virtually guaranteed that they could get there. So we withdrew from the ridiculous JCPOA and are moving ourselves towards a set of policies which will convince Iran to behave simply like a normal nation. And those policies, of course, include ongoing sanctions. Uh, well, today, Iran's top military commander said that Iran would continue to protect the Strait of Hormuz, adding that, quote, as long as the Islamic Republic's oil is exported, the oil of other others will be securely exported, too. But, you know, at this point, that doesn't exactly quell these ongoing concerns about the potential, Sarah, for a larger and broader escalation of problems and possibly even violence. Right. And, John, how are other countries reacting to Iran's announcement today, especially U.S. allies like Saudi Arabia and Israel? Yeah, so both Saudi Arabia and Israel are against any nuclear efforts by Iran. We know that already, be it for energy or weapons, uh, and are calling for a tough response to the country, uh, agreeing with U.S. officials' assessment, pointing blame at Iran for last week's attacks, though, you know, I should say not everyone in the international community is really convinced of that, uh, including Japan. Remember, the CEO of the, the company, one of the, the owners of that tanker, contradicted U.S. Right. official statements about the cause. Um, having said said that, Saudi Arabia's energy minister has called for a, quote, rapid and decisive response to the threat of energy supplies in the Middle East region and flowing, of course, in and out of the Persian Gulf through the Strait of Hormuz. The UAE has also echoed those calls to action. Israel, meanwhile, is sticking with really the red line approach about preventing any Iran nuclear capabilities with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saying today that while the country he says isn't surprised by Iran's announcement about enriching uranium, uh, quote, should Iran make good on its current threats and violate the nuclear agreement, the international community will need to immediately impose the snapback sanctions on Iran. Um, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has meanwhile called for an independent investigation into who was responsible for last week's attacks, while Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov urged for a, quote, and these are his words, sober appraisal of the situation while waiting for more convincing evidence to appear before making what he called baseless accusations. So, uh, again, the uh, the accusations continue to go back and forth well, between there are, the U.S. and Iran. There are a lot of, of moving continues. parts here, and hopefully it doesn't result in uh, military escalation. But there are still a lot of countries part of that deal. So we'll see uh, how, how we move uh, forward with this. John Huddy, thank you so much for that report.
Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.